So are you thinking of moving to Windsor or invest in Windsor? Then you must know about this neighborhood called Forest Glade. You must know what's the pros and cons and what you can expect as a homeowner about this neighborhood, what you can expect as an investor, you know, in terms of rents or prices and what strategies to do, then stay tuned. Namaskar, Vanakam, Adabar Say, what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for an awesome content regarding real estate investing and my personal journey as an investor, realtor and about Windsor and many other stuff. And if you have been following me, first of all, thank you so much. And please hit that thumbs up button if you like this content just for the algorithm purpose. Okay, so as I said, in this video, we will be going over forest glade area but again i'm not gonna do that and i have a special guest who is clark alley from my team who actually born and raised in windsor so he knows a lot about this neighborhood also before that if you are curious about other neighborhoods in windsor we made other videos check out there pretty much like east windsor walkerville area and many other neighborhoods so check out those videos and with that let's welcome clark Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Clark Alley, investment realtor here with the Wind City team, tiny home developer. And today we're gonna continue the neighborhood deep dive and take a look at Forest Glade. Stay tuned. So when you take a look at Forest Glade on the map, it's it's kind of a little a little pocket, a little bit east of East Riverside, kind of west of Tecumseh. Um, it's kind of a little you know little pocket, uh, just kind of north of the East Rail Expressway. Kind of gets over missed or overlooked, but it's kind of it's it's a really nice pocket. It's you know it has a lot of nicer homes. Um, it's actually known for its winding roads. So if you ever drive down Forest Glade without you know GPS or Google Maps telling you where to go you are gonna get lost. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, really, it's really kind of difficult to find your way in the city. But you know, overall, it's middle to higher income families that kind of resonate in these single family dwellings. So, you know, one of the nicer, I guess, restaurants and kind of chill parts to do in Forest Glade uh, is Parks and Rec. Um, it's a really nice, you know, kind of steak and bar house. Um, they got, you know, board games you can kind of bring out. It's a really nice, you know, just kind of area inside, kind of tucked away inside Forest Glade. Little Rivers Golf Course, uh, for all the golfers out there, uh, it's a really nice, you know, kind of golf course to go and hang out and just kind of spend the weekend at. And one thing that a lot of Windsorite locals are going to know is the Children's Safety Village. So it's a thing where, you know, in elementary school, when kids are looking to kind of learn about children's safety and kind of bring into more um, areas that kind of bring all the kids on a field trip to this day, uh, kind of go around, uh, go around the racetracks, kind of learn more about fire safety. Um, it's a kid that, you know, I'm sure all your kids are going to go to eventually. So when we look at average sale price in the Forest Glade neighborhood, we're going to take a look at 2019 specifically. So just in the area of Forest Glade, we're going to sample size about 304 homes. The average sales price is 332000 So again, a little more than Windsor, um, definitely more than downtown Windsor, Sandwich Town. These are nice quality single family homes. Like I said, four medium to higher class income families would be living in here. So, you know, take a look at 2019, average sale price 332000 And if we take a look at just in June, just June 2020, um, there was nine homes that sold and it was 370,000. So again, you are seeing that increase, um, you know, it's kind of happening all over Canada, but in Forest Glade alone, you can see, you know, where the average home prices sit. Um, so from an investor, what does that mean to you? You're gonna take a look at these Forest Glade properties and similar to maybe the town of Tecumseh, similar to Riverside, um, you're gonna take a look at this, you know, kind of run down properties. But the good thing about Forest Glade is resides in Windsor. You can take a look at Windsor bylaws and they're, you know, really kind of pushing this affordable housing, this unique creative forms of housing, turning single family homes into duplex, in-law suites. They are gonna push for this stuff and Forest Glade is a great neighborhood to do that. There's a lot of bungalows, um, you know, a lot of homes that can actually fit this, fit this conversion criteria. So when we take a look at rents, um, again, this is a nice neighborhood. So let's say, you know, the average three bedroom home, you, I'm probably going to guess you can probably get around 16 to 17, maybe 1800 plus utilities uh, from these, you know, standard single family homes in the Forest Glade area. So Forest Glade, a lot of it has already been developed. So there's not a whole lot of new developments going on there. Um, there was a Tim Hortons that got built, uh, you know, on commercial development side, not too far, not too kind of the edge of the edge of Forest Glade. And there's actually... So there's actually a new Meadowbrook 
project proposed. So it was kind of on the outskirts of, outskirts of Forest Glade, but Meadowbrook is essentially a community housing project launched by the city of Windsor, where they invest just a ton of money into kind of lower to medium income housing. But again, it's kind of on the lower um, skirts, the outskirts of Forest Glade. But the city announced a new fund for $39 million development to go down. Um, I think it's about two, maybe a year and a half delayed from breaking ground. But you know, that is a development that Forest Glade is gonna see uh, in, in the coming future. So another great thing about Forest Glade is even though it is middle to higher income properties, uh, you can get you know really good quality property, um, such as semi-detached condos, or sometimes even get homes uh, kind of in the 300 to, probably in like the 270 to 320 range, you know, in a really nice quality neighborhood to back up you know the purchase price to go forward on, on a property like that and that concludes the neighborhood watch of forest glade thank you for making it to the end of the video and i'd love to hear your thoughts below is this a city you know is this a part of the city you can see yourself investing in why or not why or why not drop your information in the comments below